in all patients you can find the sternal bone even if the neck is huge or or had radiation therapy and from the sternal bone you go cranially until you find the jugular notch then that's what we need then from there on we only use ultrasound we firstly on the neck like this we look for trachea trachea is cartilage the, this is an anterior tracheal wall, uh, uh, ring it's dark because it's cartilage that transmits ultrasound like a vessel so it's dark like a vessel it has a white lining here that's the tissue air border that gives a strong echo a white lining so this can be called the horseshoe sign you can see it looks like a horseshoe here that's trachea and this is the midline of trachea next step we slide the transducer laterally towards the patient's right side and we cut trachea in half like this. We rotate the transducer into the sagittal plane to get a longitudinal view of trachea. And we got that here. Look at this. We call this the pearls on a string sign because it looks like dark pearls on a white string. Can you all see that? The white line is the tissue air border. Anything beyond this line is only artifacts and air. This is mucosal lining inside of trachea. We see the black pearls there and there and there and there and there. There is one pearl that is larger, more anteriorly and more cranial than the other pearls. This one, this is the cricoid cartilage. We use a marker to slide underneath the transducer. This is standard IV cannulate. And you see the marking coming in here, this. We stop here and then we have the cricothyroid membrane here. You can verify with palpation. Then we know exactly where to, for instance, make an emergency cricothyroidotomy if you need that, or retrograde intubation, or oxygen intubation, or what we want to do.